Hey, what is up, YouTube? This is Lost Inferno Fire Dragon here, and today we have the newest cosplay armor video, the Arctic Crusher Exia. And the base unit is going to be the amazing Exia from the Gundam Build Fighters anime. Basically, what I do for the cosplay armors is I take units from the show or model kits that I've seen or built and I use those to make the base units. I'm going to be using the Dragoon system from the Strike Freedom. As you can see these are here those are the wings and the Dragoon system. What I'll do is on the booster of the Amazing Exia <clears throat> I'll put in some I'll put in, I'll modify it to where it can fit the wings and the Dragoon system of the Strike Freedom. Because it'd be pretty cool to see these, the lights, um, popping out from the wings of the Dragoon, of the, from the Amazing Exio. Next, I'm going to be adding in the Fang system of the Reborn's Gundam. I'll also modify the shield for the Amazing Exia to where it can fit more Fangs and to where it can work with the shield. Of the Reborn's Gundam. Next I'm going to be using the Blast Sword. Which are these two swords right here. And the Blast Magnums which are these. These two right here. From the Dot Blast Riser from LBX. And they'll be hidden on spots in the armor. <clears throat> Next I'm going to be using the cannon from the. Strike Freedom because that will definitely really fit in with the theme of the armor. So that's where I'm going to be adding the cannon of the Strike Freedom. Next I'm going to be adding the Vulcans from Exia. Because the base of the amazing Exia is basically an Exia. So that's where I'm going to be adding in the Vulcans. <clears throat> For the sword on the Amazing X, yeah, I'm going to have it to where I can switch between the Fire Sword you can see here and the Ice Sword that you can see here. Or have it to where it can be both at the same time. And that's from the Exia Dark Matter. Next, I'm going to be adding in the Vulcans that this Star Build Strike Galaxy Cosmos has. To where the... So, because the... Exia, the amazing Exia doesn't have any Vulcans on its head, so that's what I was thinking about adding the, the Vulcans from the Star Build Strike on the head. Oh, excuse me. I'm also going to be adding in the Vulcans from the Wing W Easy <clears throat> Wing Gundam EW from the Eternal Waltz movie because of. Uh, that right there, the Vulcans can be easily sit on the shoulders of the armor. So that's how I was going to add those in. <clears throat> Next, I'm going to be modifying the cannon from the... I'm going to be using the cannon from Rise Greymon from Digimon Data Squad. I'm going to have it to where it can connect, where it can detach and attach onto the beam rifle the GN sword from the gun the amazing Exia has I'm also going to be using the vortex blaster of tail yellow from going to be a twin tail because I would add a lot of extra firepower into the armor <clears throat> sorry about that I'm going to be using the Quanta Sabers, the Quanta Full Sabers um, sword bit system. The reason why I had this circled is so I can, so to explain which parts I'm going to be using and this as well. <clears throat> oh, sorry about that. Next, I'm going to be adding in the uh, missile pods from the Charidom Gundam because it can fit fit really well with the Amazing Exia. 
Plus, on the parts for the knees of the Amazing Exia, that also be there as well. And I'm also going to be adding in the Taser line wires from the Jaeger November Ajax from Ajax from Pacific Rim Uprising, which is a really good movie. But because how it opens, because they're just like can these are the knuckles and they open to show where the taser lines are at. So it'll be both on both knuckles. Also, the taser wires are going to be on all the previous armors uh, that I've made. Like the, I mean, the Starlight Amazing Axia, all those that I've made previously, those are all going to have it. <clears throat> this is going to be the paint job I'm going to be using. Is a graphite gray. Arctic blue, metallic blue, and gold for the paint job. And that's it for the unit. This is Lost Infernal Fire Dragon signing off.